Greetings and salutations, tube dwellers. I am your host, the Madbag, and we return to Skyri and my dark elf, Faron. Uh, I've come across a cave out in the wilderness uh, while riding on my horse towards Solstheim. Not, not Solstheim. Uh, holy crap, Solitude. Wow. Wow, brain. Wrong synapses. Similar yeah. synapses. Oh, God. It hurts. Oh, God, the poison. Holy hell, poison. What is going on? Wow. I barely caught myself right there. That, uh, that was damaging. To my magicka, I guess. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I was riding on my horse towards Solstheim to go check out the bards and uh, turn in this book and, and do all that goody goodness. I don't know why I didn't take a carriage. I, I felt like like uh, just just wandering Skyrim. I felt like just running cross country. Sometimes you just got to do things that way in Skyrim. Uh, but I came across a cave that I don't think I've ever been in. I've played Skyrim for, uh, I think I'm coming up on like 530 hours now. And uh, this is the Brood Mother Cavern. Now, that sounds like there's going to be some kind of special spider here. I don't think I've ever been here. Uh, I kind of just want to cheat these spiders. The Brood Cavern. My bad. I kind of want to just cheat these frontal spiders and... Whoa! Where did you come from, my guy? I didn't think you were still around, but that's sweet. That makes me wonder. How, how much longer does this dude have? Reanimate. 26 seconds. Perfect. Is that 10 minutes? I thought it was like 8 minutes. I think it's actually 10 minutes. Wow, that's really cool. That's really long. I like it. Stuff that takes uh, longer amounts of time to wear off feels more immersive to me. Wow, that's a troll fighting a bear. I'm glad these are regular trolls. And there are more than a couple of them. Oh, lightning. We're going to go ahead and spam it out. But, uh, oh, whoa. Got to not be taking these hits from this troll. The bear is on my side. Oh, I took that hit from the troll. It was unblocked. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure how much unblocked attacks apply to uh, unarmed. I think some degree of it does, but it's probably the, uh... Oh, keep the power attacks flowing. I'm low on stamina, but he is low on the life. The life of that troll is running out. Matter of fact, it has run out. His life done run off. Are you in an OFT? Run off. Uh, I got a book. It's a skill book. I'm sure of it. I'm sure the Black Arrow is a skill book. This is a fresh character. He hasn't seen many skill books, so it's going to be a useful one. Now, uh, the Draugr's here. How is that? I don't. Oh, uh, wrong way. I don't have. I don't have conjuration perks to make him stick around. Uh, yet here he sticks. I think he's still got his axe on him too, so yeah, I'll, uh, I will definitely reemploy, Mr. Restless Draga. You basically soloed a troll while I watched. Uh, the troll turned to me towards the end, but and here's the troll that the bear killed. Interesting to see that a bear can solo a troll. And uh, the Brood Cavern. I'm thinking it's it's terminating pretty abruptly. I, I saw another chest that I passed up just a second ago. Oh boy, novice. Tripping me up. I saw another chest over there in that corner next to where that troll was. Uh, but this cavern's ending fast. So it looks like it's not going to be anything super interesting. But you know what? This is what Skyrim is all about. A cavern I've never seen before. And, and I would fare to bet that there's probably a quest that extends this cavern. Most anything tiny is, uh, in fact, something quite large that just hasn't been unlocked yet. Wow, that's a real frostbite spider, and, uh, he is not kidding. Let's just go ahead and do this from range a little bit. It is less magic to damage efficient, but I would like to keep my distance. They hit me with poison a second ago, and it hurt real bad. Uh, spiders are also very difficult to evade in attacks. They, they move really quick, and their animation to when the damage is actually done is a very short window. It happens pretty quickly. Oh, a dead Khajiit. At least he'll be good for a lockpick. I trust there's no second entrance to this cave. It doesn't look like it. 
He's really focused on this Draugr, so I'm gonna get risky and get right up here on the inside. Go down, Spider! Down! And now let's steal their potent poison. Uh, did this other spider slide down the hill? He must have. Well, that's, that's, that's actually some creepily accurate physics. I would prefer not to watch a spider corpse slide down a hill. And, uh, we got a level. I guess we should do that before we proceed to solitude. Yeah, we, sh we certainly should. Health again? Oof! Health again or Magicka? Oh, I want to sort out the Magicka problem so much. I almost want to put one in Stamina too, just because, I mean, I run out quite a bit. Anytime I start swinging the sword, it runs out. I don't really think I'm going to. I'm going to try as hard as I can not to stack basically anything in Stamina. Because, uh, the damage that comes from my one-handed is probably going to be based mostly on Sneak by the time this character is fully built. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm left with the choice of putting one in light weaponry again. I don't, and let me double check this, think that I have anything else. What is this? Ah. Oh man, they changed the hell out of impact. Most destruction spells will stagger an opponent when dual cast 25% of the time. Now this does say most. I wonder if it's still only projectile destruction spells. Hopefully the touch spells are included in this. Uh, and, and I wouldn't necessarily consider them projectiles, but 25% of the time, that's a quarter of the time. That seems similar to uh, archery, the archery perk that uh, causes stagger. Wow, so I really want that perk, but man, did they nerf that. They nerfed the hell out of that perk. That's cool, though, because they buffed other parts of destruction. I think overall, once I get far enough up, up this tree, the overall damage output of destruction is going to be... Uh, very, very stellar, as would indicate the lightning that I bring to bear. Let's do it! Let's not split up yet. Let's just keep going deep. Going deep into that destruction, that impact. Now I gotta find my horse, and uh, we gotta leave for solitude. I've gotta get this book turned in and, and get myself a little permanent perk. Oh, my exposure has increased. Your exposure has increased, and your skills are beginning to suffer. You should find a fire to warm up. You can also drink alcohol to reduce your exposure temporarily. By default, you will die at very high exposure. So my my skills, I'm very cold right now. It's, uh, it's this rain. This rain has made me damp. It said my skills. Oh my god, it was serious. My actual skills. Hold on. Let me see. Can I see the effect? Will it tell me? Negative 25% health, magicka, and stamina regeneration. Negative 10 archery, one-handed, two-handed block, and all magicka skills. Negative 30 pickpocket and lockpicking. Nice. Negative 30. There's no way when you're cold you can get your fingers into somebody's pockets or into a lock. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't have a cloak yet. I'm really going to have to look into getting a cloak very soon. Uh, that helps with dryness, and depending on the type of cloak you get, I think it can help with uh, exposure as well. Um, but there we go. I am exposed. Before this, I was going to say that I really like how Invasive Frostfall isn't. I like that for the most part, you don't... I, I've wandered around a bit. I haven't had to set up a campfire, you know? I don't have to everywhere I go. Um, but it seems that as of right now, I would do well to set up a campfire before uh, engaging anyone. It would be dangerous for me to get in a fight right now. It would be really dangerous, actually. Uh, does that courier want me? I have a feeling he does. I've been looking for you. Yeah. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh? Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. He. Got to go. A gray bird, maybe? Maybe someone telling me about a shout, if I had to guess. Letter from a friend, there it is. Find the source of power in Valthium! Okay, I'm sure the source of power is a shout! The word of another shout, ah, Khajiit! The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. Yes, it I is. I welcome you, friend. Take a look. This chap has no cloaks or wearable lanterns. I wonder if the wearable lantern provides any degree of warmth. I don't think so. I think it's just light. Uh, and at that rate, I might not want a wearable lantern. Because light's going to make it harder to sneak, right? That doesn't sound like something I want. It sounds like something I used to want. Whoa! What in the hell is going on? 
Oh, I'm not a vampire. I don't know what you think. God, it's Durak. He thinks I'm a vampire. Durak, what are you doing? You gotta, you gotta back off, my guy. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna start casting spells. I'll, I'll scare people even more. So, I wonder if, if, if I attack. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Look, you got it wrong. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. You got the wrong person. Look. I'm getting shot at by. Oh god, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get out of here. Maybe Durak will. Uh. I probably sh shouldn't use the projectile. Oh man. Oh my god. Wow. Well. Oof. So is Durak on my side now? I heard a bolt hit a person. And it definitely wasn't me. Oh, nice, nice. The uh, the guards are on my team against these cultists. That is very good. I need the guards on my team. You know what? It sounds like I have two different music tracks playing right now. Oh, God, my dodge is terrible. Again, I did not. Oof! Oof! I need to stop trying to dodge because right now I can't. Oh, oh, my God. Jesus, what is wrong with me? My feet are stuck to the ground. And it's fire magic, even. This was frost magic projectiles. I would be so screwed. Okay. Well, look, we gotta we gotta get up on these guys. The guards aren't doing the trick. Whoa! Oh, Durak! Oh, and he gets me! Christ! The odds! And he runs! <laughs> the odds are just stacked against me. Hey, I'm not fighting, guys. Don't don't attack me. Is it just Durak? If it's just Durak, I feel like I can take him. If the guards attack me, I'm totally screwed, and I gotta run. Durak, though, I got you, Durak. You can't do nothing to me, buddy. You're not supposed to hunt vampires, and guess what? I'm not one. Oof! That was actually a little bit close. Wow. Okay, so... Son of a mother-loving... Mmm! They're just gonna go right along with this uh, beheading over here, like nothing ever happened. Now I gotta be careful of these... Opening with these freakers over here. You know what? This is, uh, this is widely frowned upon. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully they don't... Oh, I'm too low level. Oh, that's too bad. Just getting ready to say, I hope they don't mind that I do this. Right up here... Ooh, I, I actually saw him, too. I saw one of the cultists. I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna try to take it easy here. I'm gonna try to... Oh, oh, I just started Dawn Guard. That's not... That's not necessarily... I think the most ideal way to have started the Dawn Card quest line. I go to Sovereign Guard. Poor Rogvir. It sounded like he was right in my ear, too. These guys may not know that I'm here. They're walking awful fast, though. And if I don't. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I'm very cold. Holy crap. I'm very cold, and I'm just like chilling. Like. In solitude. I'm within city limits. Look at this. I think they're. Oh, oh, what? Um, what in the... Oh, you're man. The oh, dragonborn. man. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm the your Dragonborn. No, I said I said I was. True oh, okay. I guess that appears, they still think that that's a... I hope that this doesn't count as me having attacked first. Oh, oh, did they just summon a Daedra? Oh, my God, they did, and it hurts. It hurts really bad. It all hurts really, really bad. Woo! I will survive this time, though, with just a touch of cowardice. The cowardice at the right time, in the right place. I'm alive, right? I will survive. Think. Ah, uh, you know what? Some of this stuff, magic regenerates faster. I think mine is 50%. Let's see about it. Nothing else has an enchantment. That's, that's really too bad. It's just too bad. It's all weird mismatch stuff, too. Cultists' orders. I'm sure this will just be... So interesting. Let's see, what do I have on right now? Uh, Magic Regen is 50% faster and Restoration spells are cheaper. Well, I don't care so much about Restoration that I would give up this 25% Magic Regeneration. So, oh, you know what? Oh, ooh, oh, wow. I actually like how that looks quite a bit. Uh, it makes it obvious that my character is oh, very slender. What happened? Nothing, nothing happened. Nothing here. Nope, nothing. I'm not wearing dead people's clothes. Nothing at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and stroll away. Hey there, courier. I'm gonna do some of this. <gasps> so you will very soon, uh, have some more 
letters to give me. Uh, I actually hit the hotkey for Whirlwind Sprint. I was thinking I was getting ready to Foos Row. <laughs> it did not happen that way. Ah! Finally! The Bard's College. Now we can start one of the shorter. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? And more lucrative quest chains in the game. Uh, emphasis on shorter. I'm looking to apply to the college! Always the a Armo? pleasure to meet a prospective bard. Yes. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. Is that so? When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. An aspiring bard or an as expiring adventurer? What do you need me to do? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in, finding the verse. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in the dead man's respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. What if I were to tell you that it does exist and I've already retrieved That's it? Tremendous! I have to admit, I, I didn't fully believe it still existed. It now, did? Let's, it let's does. Let's take a look at this. Oh, oh no! Well, there... This won't do at all! Look, the, the copy is incomplete! It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable! Really? Oh. It looked like somebody struck it out with a black pin. So, so what does that mean? It means then? I can't read it to the court. Oh. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening! Oof. Well, can't we just make it up? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Come on, we can do this. What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. Wow. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Well, you kind of don't want to make stuff up, so, uh... Let's 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 keep this let's keep this timid. Um, logic as a player would tell me to go with the persuade attempt just to get speechcraft upgrades. Eh, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of skill ups lately uh, on all kinds of stuff. So, um, Olaf found the dragon asleep. Nah, all right, I'm, I'm writing that in. I'm not sure about the court, but I find that much more probable than Olaf capturing a dragon. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Again, probably should try... Oh, there's actually not a per persuasion attempt here. He convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack Solitude? With a question mark? No, let's go with this middle one. He convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. Mm, that's not the most exciting answer, but the most likely. So again, I've like somehow him. chosen the most probable. So is, is that all? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Okay, sure, I'll watch. Now, since you guys just heard the poem, and uh, since I'm sure most of you have probably 
either seen this before in a video or played through it yourself, I think I'm going to spare you the excruciating rereading of the entire poem. And it's one of those out of dialogue sequences that I can't skip through. Uh, and I'm just going to cut right to the end of this. So after the reading of the poem and Elisif's reinstatement of the festival, am I a bard now? Soon. Soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. Oh, how appropriate. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! Hurrah! Please address all... I think this has provided Olfric just the inn I need. He naively believes he can bring about peace through warfare. It's rather sad, really. To manipulate... The new High King. To keep the yard safe. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, Tube Dwellers. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more episodes coming right at you.